My name is Willie Kuhner. I'm a junior astrophysics major at Oberlin. Right now we're in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, at the world's largest radio telescope. And I'm part of a group of about seven other students that Dan Steinbring, who is an astrophysics professor, um, has taken here. When I turn around and see this, the world's largest radio telescope behind me, it's just a mind-blowing thing that I've actually ended up here doing astrophysics in a Puerto Rican jungle. It's like a dream come true for me. I'm Dan Steinbring. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at Oberlin. And I first came to this telescope in 1976. And since 1990, I've been bringing Oberlin students down here with me. So observing pulsars is like nothing else because you're actually recording the heartbeat of these neutron stars. And you can hear the signal, you can see the signal. And when I came to the observatory for the first time 35 years ago, that's what really hooked me on this uh, study. And that's what inspires my students. When we come down here, they really get excited about listening to the pulses coming in and seeing them on the screen, and then taking the data back to Oberlin to analyze it. My name is Kara Kundert. I am a first year astrophysics and electrical engineering major. I kind of imagine like going to college and like working in a computer lab somewhere. Not so much being in a tropical uh, haven for science. I want to uh, combine astrophysics and electrical engineering, so I want to be able to build my own instrumentation. Going back to Overland from here, uh, I think I'll just bring back more enthusiasm for what I want to do more of a perspective on what we are doing and how that applies to all the science that is being done at Arecibo and being done all around the world. What do you want, do you want to say or do you want me to say? <laughs> oh, he's back. Um, I can try to say it. I'm Ben Lemberger, I'm a first year at Open College. I'm Josie Nelson, I'm also a freshman. We're going up to the largest single dish radio telescope in the world and it's going to be super cool. We're doing uh, some simulations, it's based on data that comes from here, so we um, get to see where that all comes from. Yeah. It's real. It's super cool. It's not made up. <laughs>